Hey guys, welcome to day number 58 of my self-connection experiment where I meditate every day for two hours and then share my experiences with you guys in a daily video. Yesterday was quite the energetic odyssey for me. Shortly after filming day 57's meditation video, I went straight up. I My consciousness peaked somewhere, like I, I hit a new peak of consciousness, of awareness, and I was feeling so high and so connected, and I, and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was literally just glowing, I had so much light. And that lasted for a little bit, <laughs> and then my nervous system was basically started becoming overwhelmed because my nervous system doesn't have the endurance for that much light. It hasn't had, you know, the chance to adapt to that much light. And I felt like what it was, it was more of a preview for what's coming. And you guys may have had this because yesterday was a powerful new moon, a very powerful new moon. I think a lot of us got a preview of where our consciousness is going. But we also we're given an awareness of the work that needs to be done to sustain that level of consciousness. The first thing that I experienced as a result of this heightened sense of perception or awareness was that this energy was really trying to show me all my attachments. It was trying to show me how much I still am grasping and like squeezing that wheel of illusionary control and how I am still so dependent on outcome and results and valid and needing validation and really it just showed me so much of my neediness because here's what happens when in my experience when we start reaching higher levels of consciousness higher levels of awareness we, of course, feel the heightened sense of joy and peace and connection and love. But we also become very, we, to, to, to um, experience these levels of consciousness, we become really opened up. We can feel very raw. And that's what happened yesterday. I got very opened up and I got very... I got to be, I was just super raw. I could feel things so intensely. And one of the things that I could feel was all that neediness and that unworthiness that was still, you know, really buried in my, deep in my body. And the thing about ascension is you don't ascend and, and leave the darkness behind. No, you, you ascend into a newer level of light and dark. So yes, you get to experience the heightened level of peace and joy and love and, and uh, euphoria and all of this, but you also experience a heightened level of darkness. And this heightened level of darkness is here as a gift as well, is here to teach you the things that you, you need to integrate so that you can sustain this newer, higher level of consciousness. And... And as we ascend, it's not that, like I said, it's not that we leave darkness behind. It's that we stop resisting it so much. And that we don't make a story and an identity out of our darkness as much anymore. You know, when we're first ascending, when we're first awakening, we may be 90% identified with the negativity in our mind and the feelings in our body, the sadness, the, the anger, the fear. We might say... I am anxiety and I am negative thoughts and, and we can construct a whole identity out of that. But as we start doing the inner work, as we start, as our consciousness starts rising, we become less and less identified with our thoughts and our emotions and our feelings. And it's because we're not so identified with them anymore, well now we don't resist them as much. Now we just let them flow. And so yesterday, as I was reaching this heightened state of consciousness, and my nervous system, by the way, was, was telling me, I just can't sustain this. This is too much. So as I was reaching that state, I was feeling the intensity of this newer 
level of darkness that needed alchemized and, and how this heightened level of darkness was here to serve my evolution just as much as the heightened level of light. Because the heightened level of light could, allows for creativity, expansive love, huge um, visionary ideas, you know? But the heightened level of darkness is really our power. It's really our anchor. It, it's, it's here to really unfold for us our truth, our authentic self, if, if we will allow it up, if we will not resist it. But because at, at one point, at, at several points, this all felt like too much for the, for the mind, for the nervous system, for the human, for the, you know, <laughs> for the small self, or however you want to look at it. All this light, all this dark, it was just too much. And I, and I found myself, I was just consciously observing how I was sabotaging my vibration so that I could feel safer. Because I just, it just was, you know, when we reach these new peaks, this may be what we're asking for. We may be asking for the divine to flood our being with grace. We may be wanting to ascend, you know. And then when we get there, when we get to a higher place, it can really be a bit ungrounding. And we can feel like it's just too much. It's too much light. It's too much dark. I mean... The dark, my darker patterns of neediness and craving and just um, you know unworthiness were so strong, and it was so it was to the point where I was doing everything I could to escape it. Right, I was indulging in food. I was just on my phone watching one silly YouTube video after another. I was, you know talking to you know it's not that it's wrong to talk to friends or anything but you know i was just trying to ex like you, you know escape what i was feeling in any way i could and i realized it was i couldn't <laughs> sometimes the energy is just so strong as you guys know and on this new moon especially it's such an activating new moon there was i didn't matter what i did there was no escaping the patterns of intense unworthiness and neediness and lack and there was no escaping there was no um lessening the feelings of intense bliss <laughs> it's amazing and my friend was looking at me as we were talking on um, facetime and she was saying you look like you're experiencing intense bliss but you also look extremely tired <laughs> at the same time and that's kind of the thing when we are really going high right is we experience it all very intensely all the bliss the joy the peace all and then all of that darkness too the neediness whatever it is for you unworthiness and so i was watching myself try to sabotage my vibration so i could come to a place where i felt a little more safe a little more grounded and i was watching myself with such acceptance and love and and just i was so um compassionate with myself like I know it just I know that this couldn't be happening any other way and that's the other thing I knew it would had to happen how it was happening and I knew that I was there was no other way but for me to try to sabotage my vibration so that I could feel safer by eating super heavy foods <laughs> um, and you know just watching YouTube videos and I just knew that this was by design this was by design this was the divine this was God showing me how I have no control. <laughs> it was God saying, oh, you think you have a strong personal will that you're going to be super disciplined every single day on the spiritual path. Well, let me show you <laughs> that sometimes it's inevitable that you are just going to have to let go and let the human and the, you know, that the false self, whatever you want to call it, just kind of have its processing. Just kind of let it do what it needs to do. Let it run its course. Let the neediness, the craving, the unworthiness, let it run its course and just watch it. Watch it with love. Watch it with curiosity. Watch it with like, oh, that's fascinating. Okay, I love you even though, you know, you think you need to go <laughs> devour more bread, butter, and honey. <laughs> 
you know, I love you so much and I understand that you're feeling unsafe, you know, and I understand that this is a lot of energy more than you've felt in a, I don't know, this might be the most you've ever felt and I just, I love you so much and you're doing so good. And this is what I was telling the body and the mind and just, instead of, you know, really fighting them and like, how could you, you know, do this and like, you know, giving them so much of a, you know, resistance. No, just loving them and realizing this is, this is by design. And sometimes this is how it has to happen. And sometimes, you know, when we experience a newer level of light and dark, the first time we experience it, all bets are off, right? Like the first time you awaken to new consciousness, think about that. <laughs> you didn't know what the heck to do. And you probably did all kinds of things that in retrospect that you're like, wow, those were super unconscious, but it's what you needed to do in the time to feel safe. And this is true. Maybe on this new moon and these energies right now, they're taking you to a place where you don't feel safe. So don't do any type of, you know, um, what's the word like inner criticizing or inner judgment for the things that your body and your mind might need to do to feel safe when you're, when you're experiencing these higher frequencies, these more refined energies. Because this is how you learn. This is how you learn. So the next time you reach this peak, you know, you will have more awareness. You will have more choices. Maybe the first time we reach a new peak of consciousness, much like I did yesterday. We don't have very many choices because we've never been there before. We don't know. It's just like, holy shit. I'm getting goosebumps saying this too. It's just like, yes, this is how it is. It's like, holy shit. This is so much light. This is so much dark. Never been here before. I don't have a roadmap for this. <laughs> let's just go eat this away because I'm scared. <laughs> or let's just go, you know, whatever the thing is for you. Let's just look at my phone for four straight hours <laughs> because I don't know what to do with all this energy. I can't let it flow constructively. I can't channel it into writing or video. And I can't, certainly can't sit with it right now. <laughs> it's just too much. So it's just funny, like, and I was just laughing at myself while I was happy. I'm like, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is pretty intense. Um, but also, even though the nature of the energy was super overwhelming, I was so grateful to God, to the divine, to the universe the whole time saying, thank you for this. Thank you for this gift. I know this is, you know, we all want to, grow so fast. We all want to ascend so fast. And if we look back at, look back at where you were two years ago to now and look at that growth and just, are you not astonished? Just looking at that right now, like, Oh my gosh, are you not a completely different person? If you're watching this, if you're watching this video, two years prior to right now, two years from, from today to now, you have been transformed, right? Every single one of us. And how did we become so transformed? Well, by being overwhelmed with grace, <laughs> with light, with, um, with energy, you know? And this is the path of, of awakening. It's extremely intense and extremely rapid, but it's also extremely rewarding and satisfying. And I want to leave you all with this. It's really amazing when we're feeling so much energy, how it will speak to us, how it will talk to us, how it will communicate with us and tell us what it needs or tell us what it needs us to do, how this energy um, is very, it will guide us if we will, you know, sit with it and listen to it. And I finally got to a place where I could really sit with it and listen to it um, for a while last night. And what it was telling me was, Matt, you're not in control. It was the energy was saying, we, when I say we, I mean the energy you could think of it as in guides, the universe, however you want to resonate with you. But the energy was saying, we already know what's going to happen in your life. We all, it's already happened. All the outcomes have been determined. So no matter how much you choose to identify and attach to the story of your life, no matter how much you choose your own suffering by getting attached to outcome and results and needing things to happen a certain way, it's all going to happen just the same. So the energy was saying, just let go. 
he was saying, saying, honey, it's, it's, it's all been, it's already done. Can you, and the energy was trying to tell me, can you not feel how it's already been done? And I was just like, wow, yeah. And so yesterday was, that's why so much neediness and uh, that codependency and that um, unworthiness was coming up in me. All of that needs certain outcomes and results and love from others to feel safe, you know? And the energy was trying to show me that, like, do you really, do you need this anymore? Is this still serving you? And if it is, no judgment, that's fine. But is this, are you ready to let go of this? Are you ready to let go of that illusionary wheel of control that you think you have, that you clearly know at this point you don't? And everyone watching this, you know you don't have control, but you know how much of a divine blessing that is. Because you get to just relax. And that's what this energy was telling me. Just relax, let go, enjoy the ride, and we got it all figured out. The energy was saying, we've got it all figured out. And feel into your own energy, your own spiritual energy, your own activations, your, your kundalini. And you'll feel into it and you'll sense this incredible intelligence and this incredible wisdom. And you'll, and you'll really have this knowing that this energy has it all covered. You're, you're supported, you're guided, you're loved more than you can imagine. You are so loved. We are all so loved on this path. And it all is working out beautifully. Even when we're overwhelmed and we're going crazy with our addictions and cravings, it's still working out. This is how it's, this is fierce grace. Sometimes fierce grace has to hurt a little bit so that it can break us from our attachments. So that we can let go of control and enjoy the ride more. This energy was telling me, we're just trying to help you enjoy the ride. You know, you don't have to be trying to turn the wheel at every corner and pushing the brake and accelerating. <laughs> you can just let go and let it flow through and, you know, be the energy. Be the, be the overwhelming energy rather than the one who is being overwhelmed, right? Because that's who you are as the energy. That's who you are as the divine. You are your spirit guides. You are the kundalini. The one that's being overwhelmed is who you are not. Is who, are you, is who the energy is trying to help you break identification from. The one who is being over, overwhelmed is the one who suffers. And when we take identity with the one who is being overwhelmed, we suffer. But this energy is here to assist us in letting go of the one who is being overwhelmed and into being that which we truly are, which is source, which is God, which is love. You are love. We are all love. All right. So day 58, energetic odyssey. <laughs> feeling a lot more grounded today, feeling good. Um, just so blessed. We're, we're all so blessed, you know. Can you feel how blessed we all are to be on this path? Just so grateful, you know. It's, it's a beautiful path and you're all doing such amazing work. I'm so honored to be on this path with you all and doing this work with you guys and sharing my process. And I love when you guys share what's going on with you and your meditations and your, your inner work. And it's just, it's because I learned from you guys so much too. I learned so much from you guys. And um, I just appreciate every single one of you. So enjoy this new moon energy. It's super intense. I know you already know that. And I just love you guys so much. Namaste.